I'm Dieter Koslik, the director of the Berlin International Film Festival. That's all. Uh, we have uh, a lot of films uh, with children in the middle of the stories. Uh, uh, we have uh, our usual um, view back to our own history uh, with very special films like The Monument Man or like Diplomatie, the last uh, 25, uh, 24 hours uh, in Paris before The Monument Man came and the Nazis had to fly. And we have also a big um, subject about sex and uh, church and guilt, uh, like the uncensorship first part of Lars von Trier, New Nymphomanic. But we have also one from Germany called Kreuzweg, where you can see um, a young woman who is completely under influence of, uh, the Catholic, of a part of the Catholic Church. As the chairs normally are not very comfortable. I like to lie a little bit, like when, uh, like people are lying in front of their television set, because if you sit straight up, what I'm doing just now, this is not really healthy. Not for long films, and Berlin Film Festival has long films. I'm happy and concentrated. I will be happy, but not concentrated anymore. I mean, one thing which helps a lot is to sleep. Um, to sleep in the cinema, a lot of people are doing this. And uh, I know from a lot of directors who have the opinion, if you, sleep through, if you sleep through their films, you trust them, what they screen. That I have the artistic freedom to do what I want, and that I have uh, some economic uh, possibilities to realize this and uh, to be together with artists. But I also like to be together with people who have great skills to organize such a big event like the Berlinale, which is, as we know, the biggest audience-driven film festival in the world. So I like both parts of my job, the artistic one, but also the more bureaucratic um, the more bureaucratic things I have to do because it's good. It's like you produce your own film if you produce such a big festival.